A big studio has been acquired, which removes it from one of these studios in the rumors to be acquired by Xbox. So Borderlands, a big studio which has been in the rumors for acquisition has been acquired and this has been done by the Embracer Group. Now before we jump into this, if you are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video, you think is entertaining and informative, I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to join this community, help this channel grow so we can have some great conversations in the comments below. For the last few months now, there have been tons of rumors swirling around about the next big studio acquisition, especially after the acquisition of ZeniMax by Microsoft. People were wondering, are they done or are they going to continue? continue to look to buy studios and all of the signs have been pointing to that Xbox is not even close to being done and they want to continue to buy studios to add to Xbox game studios. Now Gearbox was one of those studios that was in the rumors as an acquisition that Xbox was looking at and one that would fit right into the portfolio with Borderlands as a first person shooter but it looks like that will not be the case going forward as Borderlands has been purchased by the Embracer Investor Group. Now Embracer Group is a massive company they own a ton of studios as you can see from this picture here, they have 33 internal development studios. Now they have 55 external development studios. This is including now with Gearbox and THQ Nordic and all of the studios under that umbrella. So it is a massive investors group and is definitely going to be a big force in this industry for a very long time. Now in terms of Xbox, you, know, you can pretty much count Gearbox out. There's no way they're going to get them from the Embrace group. But there have been other rumors swirling around, which I also want to talk about on top of this because it's been super interesting the last couple of days and I would take all of this with a grain of salt. I don't think really any of this is going to come true, but if it did, it would be pretty interesting. The big one here being that Microsoft is in talks with Sega and Konami to partner with Xbox Game Studios in Japan for the development of exclusive games. Now this comes from the Spanish thread here, which obviously I can't understand, but was translated. And it comes from this user here who I have no idea who he is but only has 789 followers. So you really gotta do definitely take this with a grain of salt. Not that saying if you have a low amount of followers, you're just lying and everything. It just for me makes it a little bit more interesting or a little bit more iffy because nobody's really confirmed any of this. And I don't think very many people know who he is or at least I don't know who he is. And then even with this person here, I don't know who this person is as well. White report. Um, but was able to translate this rumor saying that in this thread they're talking about how Xbox wants to work with Konami and Sega and make exclusive games in Japan. And the thing with this is there has been a lot of stuff going around with Konami and Sega with their actual studios. A recent rumor being that Konami had shut down its video gaming division, which was false. That was a false rumor Konami actually coming out in a press release and saying that the announcement about the dissolution of their gaming division was false to the statement saying, the announcement made refers to an internal restructure with production divisions being consolidated. We have not shut down our video gaming division. So Konami is still going to be making games, whatever they're doing there. Like they say here, they are making the P, the Pro Evolution soccer games and then Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that. But there's obviously other IPs within Konami that people would love to see come out, which they just kind of are forgetting. Then you have Sega here, and this was a big one a couple of days ago. Basically, Sega is splitting into separate gaming and pachinko companies. And this means that obviously pachinko massive in Japan, they're going to be having moving around the resources for what they are focusing on. This has a lot of people talking as to why they're doing this and maybe they're getting ready to sell off their gaming division. And if this is true, this would kind of make sense, I guess, that they are splitting them up. And I've always said that Sega would be probably, for me at least, and just in general with their previous working relationship, the best acquisition for Xbox going forward to get into Japan and to get all of the IPs that come with Sega. You get games like the biggest one of all would be Persona getting that JRPG, which is such a popular game in North America and in Japan. And having that on Game Pass or something I think would have a huge dent within the Japanese market. And then there was some more news here with Sega that the Yakuza creator is becoming the Sega creative director, stepping down as the CCO, which is Sega's chief creative officer. I mean, makes sense because Yakuza is a very beloved series within Sega. Lots of people love the creative side of it. And now he, they're saying that he's doing this to get closer to the active game development as opposed to a supervisory role. And again, this is just another shift and another mix up within Sega. I don't know if this means anything as coming to an acquisition, but it definitely shows that they are focusing and shifting around stuff going on within their gaming division. And this could really mean anything. So all of these rumors 
definitely should be taken with a grain of salt. This one kind of seems far-fetched, especially because they say that the source is close to Windows Central. And then you have Jez here who works at Windows Central and says that nobody at Windows Central has ever discussed or claimed to have any information on this. And then White Report responds here saying, thank you for saying this. I'd just like to clarify, however, the original poster claims his source does not directly work for Windows Central, but is rather heavily linked with it and other Microsoft divisions. Whether that is true or reliable or not, I do not know. And this tweet here kind of shows where they are coming from that they don't really know that much because Windows Central is not a part of Microsoft. So thinking that they're a part of Microsoft makes doubt in my mind about this rumor. Now, that's just me. It could be a translation issue, but I'm really just taking this with a large grain of salt. This kind of seems unrealistic, although if they were to get Sega and Konami as game publishers, exclusive game publishers for Japanese studios or and then eventually bring them over to Xbox Game Pass in North America, it would just be a massive thing. But yeah, interesting times in the video game world. And I don't think this is the end. I think this is just the beginning with the amount of money that video games are making, especially throughout COVID. The amount of competition now that is sparked amongst getting the acquisitions. And I really think that when Microsoft purchased ZeniMax, it kicked it all off, really got a lot of people thinking. Microsoft has one of the biggest game developers, one of the most popular game developers. Now, their Xbox Game Studio is growing nonstop. We need to start competing with them as well. And we're thinking we're going to see a lot more acquisitions going forward from Xbox, from Sony, and then we'll see how the cards lie when it's all said and done. But I'm excited for it this year, next year, just to see what comes up. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Do you care that Gearbox has been acquired by the Embracer Group? Was it a studio that you would have liked to see within Xbox Game Studios? And let me know what you think about those rumors about Sega and Konami working with Microsoft being acquired to create exclusive games in Japan. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you are new here and you liked what you see, I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to join this community and help this channel grow. And we can just have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I will catch you in the next video.